Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today is all about our security with this EUFI security home solution. 5 piece alarm kit included at the box. Of course you can buy more entry sensor and motion detection and add to this security alarm. Some of the key features, easy setup, install in a minute, all by yourself, but stay with me, you're gonna find out all about this product and I will guide you through all the process how you can make the best installation and find out all the options and the adjustments for this security alarm. Instant alert to your smartphone, install the EUFI security app and you can manage this alarm from your smartphone, adjust the notifications, the sensitivity, the motion sensor, the alerts, everything you can do everything from your app set up your own security modes to your needs to your family and of course it doesn't matter where you are indoors outdoors in which place of the planet you can get notification and adjust everything from your smartphone to this security alarm with the entry sensor installed at the right place you will get alerts immediately when breach is detected and with the motion sensor it will protect all your room 100 degrees coverage up to 11 meters Entry sensor and motion sensor, they've got battery that it can last about two years. And the main unit, the keypad, the battery, it is rechargeable and it can last up to six months. No monthly fees, our privacy is something that the UFI values as much as we do. That's why they take in every step to ensure our videos are kept it private, store it locally, but accessible anytime, anywhere by the security 256-bit encrypted connection. That's why we've got the home base 2, everything is going on at this home base 2, connected on a 2.4 GHz network and ensure your entire home is secure at all times, no matter how big is your home or small. Well guys, that is the great specs, everything that I already mentioned, I think it's time to open it to see what we have inside and how we can work with that. Ooh, nice packaging. And there's the security kit. The main unit. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Well, let's take everything out. Oh, let's see here. We've got, of course, some manuals. If you want to read it, it's your choice. But stay with me and find out all about this product. The house is alarmed by UFI Security. Place this sticker to let the visitor know your property is monitored by UFI security. Great. More user manuals. Nice. Now let's start with the keypad. Here we can see we've got the panic button. Press and hold for 3 seconds and it will trigger the alarm. We've got the sync button. Press and hold for 2 seconds to pair with the home base. Nice. We've got here the reset button. The LED indicator It is in the front. The ring here. Here we've got a hole inside, it is the buzzer. At the base here we've got the power indicator and of course the micro USB charging port. The keypad buttons. Oh, it is alive. And here we've got the motion sensor. And of course we can see in the base, mount it on the wall, insert that inside lock it and you can have it at your wall at the right position you want now let's see and the accessories that it comes oh <laughs> too many accessories stickers and here we can see we've got three batteries this is the CR123A 3 volt lithium battery okay nice three of these screws Screws for the keypad, another screws for the entry sensors. We can see we've got and the icons at the box. That's how they will help you to know which goes where. The same here. Nice. And we've got and these uh, stickers. It is for the base. If you want to install the the base with stickers and not uh, only with uh, screws. Nice. Now let's move on to the home base 2, UV security, the LED indicator at the front, at the base we've got the speaker, at the back the ventilation, the power connection, 
the USB port, the Ethernet port, the SIM alarm off button and the reset uh, button. Nice. You can check down below in the description. I have made a video about the Ufi Cam 2 Pro and the Home Base 2. It is a kit that it comes together. If you need to buy it, you will find out very helpful my video. I have tested this camera, everything from start to the end, how you can work with this uh, camera and the Home Base 2. Now let's move on. Next here, we've got the two entry sensors. At the entry sensor, we can see this is the magnet area. <laughs> we'll take one magnet. In one side, you need to stick uh, this unit and the other the magnet. <laughs> and it is very powerful. They've got sticker at the base. Now here we can see we've got the LED indicator, the sync button. And of course, here you need to take this out and install one of these three batteries. That's how you will give power to this uh, sensor. Next, we've got the motion sensor, sync button at the base. And here, take this out, install one of the batteries. At the front, we've got the motion sensor, LED indicator. Here it goes the base. You can rotate it, install it at the wall, wherever is suitable for you. Rotate and find the right position. Great. Now let's see and the accessories inside. Ooh, many accessories. <laughs> okay, we've got the plugs for a UK and Europe. I will use the Europe. The adapter. Nice. The adapter, it is 12 volt, 2 amps, 24 watt consumption. It is for the home base too. And it is about 2 meters the cable, very good length. An Ethernet cable for the home base too. And we've got the Type A to micro USB for charging the main unit, the keypad. And it is about 1 meter, nice. <laughs> Many accessories, I like that. We need to connect everything. Okay, now to connect, download the UFI security app, make an account, I already powered on, is flashing red, add device, home base 2, connect home base to your router LAN port, and power it on, next. Connect uh, your phone to the same Wi-Fi router as the home base, you need 2.4 GHz uh, network, next. Wait in one minute until home base LED turns from red to blue. Solid red. Welcome to UP Security. Follow the instructions in UP Security app to set up the system. Next. Scan the home QR code. Receives a pairing request. Press the sync button on the back. To Press this back. button. And you will get the beep. Give the device a name, done, confirm. Finish. You can change the name, connection Ethernet, Wi-Fi setup. You can connect it, of course, with your Wi-Fi network. Add the password. Next. Testing Wi-Fi connection. Home base has connected to Wi-Fi successfully. Next. Unplug. The Ethernet cable. Home base is switching to Wi Fi repeater mode. Home base has connected to Wi Fi successfully. And you can start the test. Your system has a solid internet connection. Done. You can go back. Time settings, storage. It has a 16 gigabyte storage available 14.63. Clear storage, repair, format, alarm settings. You can increase, alarm off. decrease, change the tone. Alarm off. Prompt volume. Increase, decrease. 
notification, choose the notification you want, parity devices, and about the device, restart and remove device. Now let's go back and add the keypad, add device, choose the keypad and then the home base. Charge the keypad before adding, please ensure the keypad is plugged into a power outlet during the pairing process. Red LED. Next. Press the sync button until the LED is blinking. Sync button is here. Pressing and we can see the LED is flashing. Next. Ready to add device. And here the LED is flashing. Device was added successfully. Great. Living room. Next. An access code must be between 4 to 8 digit. Great. Save. How do you want to install the keypad? Adhesive or screw? Okay, let's say adhesive. <laughs> I like the information. Finish. Add incomplete. The keypad can be used to control all your home base connect device by linking them under one security mode. Press the button on the keypad to activate home base security mode. Now we can add devices. I will add the motion sensor. Choose the home base you want to install the motion sensor. We need to install the battery. Take one of the batteries. Nice. We can see the LED is flashing red. Press yeah. the sync button until the LED is blinking. Next. Ready to add device. Device was added successfully. Living room, next. Do you have a pet? No. Location. The motion sensor should be installed on a wall next to a door through which people enter. Adjust the motion sensor 30 degrees to the left or right to detect the door areas. Okay, some information for installation, next. Use adhesive. I like the information. And finish. Continue with testing. Test the sensor. To initiate the test mode, walk around in front of the sensor until the LED turns red for 5 seconds. Yep, and we've got a notification very fast. Check LED is red. Next. Select the desired level of sensitivity and then walk around to test out the area of the detection. OK, finish testing. Adding complete. Now let's install the door window sensor by choosing Add device and then choose the home base. Remove the battery compartment. Great, I've already done that. Install one of the batteries. Lock that. Nice. Next. Press the sync button until the LED is blinking. Next. Ready to add device. Device was added successfully. Let's say front door. Next. Next. And some instruction how you can mount the sensor. Next. You need 4 cm. Find the optimal location where you want to mount it. Put the main part of the sensor and magnet on the desired location. Then check if the window door can be open closed. Next. Tear off the film. Great. Finish. And here we have and the door sensor. Let's add and the other one. Install the battery to the entry sensor. Add the device. Entry sensor. Choose the home base. Click the sync button to the entry sensor. Choose the name, choose the location, and finish. And there is and the other sensor, kitchen window. Now let's check one by one the devices, kitchen window, name, you can change the name, notification, entry sensor, open status alert. Notify you one time when the sensor is left open for a period of time, 5 to 60 minutes. Daily entry sensor status check. Notify you if the sensor remains open after a scheduled time. Add a time and adjust the time. Chirp tones. You can choose the sound and every time you open the window or the door you will hear a sound from the home base. Mounting guide. About the device. The same apply and from the front door. Now let's go to the living room, the motion detection sensor. You can change the name, notification. You may go to the app security page, set sensor notification in your security mode. Go set. And here you can adjust everything. It depends the mode you want to choose. Let's say the home. 
and you can adjust the notification, push notification for the kitchen window, the front door, the living room, away, the same here. LED light. When the sensor detects motion, the LED will not blink. Okay, I need to blink. Living room, the keypad, the name, you can change the name. Switch mode with access code. That means it will disable when you want to enter to your keypad with your password. I will keep it with password. About device and remove device. And choosing one of these devices, you can see the records, the time and the day when open and close uh, the door or the window. The same and for the motion detection, you've got records for everything, for any motion detected, by day and hour. Very easy to use and you have many adjustments. Ok, now let's say we are leaving our house, we need to use the away mode. It's flashing the keypad, you need to press your password and then press the away mode. And you will get a notification to your smartphone, of course. Away mode is activated. Now, if I'm going to, let's say, open one of these sensors. Oh. Kitchen window is closing and opening. You've got notification to your smartphone. To deactivate it, just press your password. Alarm off. And deactivate it. And you will get, of course, a notification to your smartphone, very easy. And again, activate it by pressing the password and then activate. And now, if motion detect, again, we've got alarm. Notification to our smartphone. Alarm off. Now I am in a home mode and I want to make the adjustments for the home mode. Let's go back, security, tech to the home base, settings for the home mode. You can activate the push notification, the home base alarm. will open the front door or the kitchen window. It will trigger the alarm. And of course you can adjust the alarm delay, the living delay. Something that we don't want, it is the living room to react. Uncheck that, that means if the motion detector see us, it will not trigger the base alarm or send us notification to our smartphone because we are in our home. Well, let's try it. It is on, we can see, it is a blue. That means if I'm going to open some of this uh, door, let's see that. Alarm, it will trigger. And of course, we will get the notification to our smartphone. Close again. Now let's try it again. Home mode. We can see we've got the blue light. Motion is being detected, but no alarm. Because in a home mode, I have been adjusted when motion detected. I am in my home and no alarm from the base will sound. So many adjustments that you can do. Enable the best adjustment for you and use this security alarm. And of course you can buy more uh, door sensors, more motion detections, install to all the place of your home and feel more safe. And we've got and the off button, that means we can turn off the alarm. Off. And as you can see, to my smartphone is changing uh, to alarms off. Whatever you are doing here, you will get notification to your smartphone and everything. And of course, at the device, we've got the motion sensor. That means if it will detect motion here and it will show you what mode it is at this time. And we are in off mode. Disable the off mode. <laughs> Changing again to the home mode. And of course, we can use the CUS button. And of course, it can change into my smartphone. And of course, you can adjust this CUS button. Go back, devices, keypad, CUS button. And here, customize a new security mode. Enter security name. Choose 
but you want the icon and the, what exactly is doing this uh, security mode I'm just putting a uh, randomly just to show you how you can do it next and here you can adjust you can change in the name of course alarm delay push notification home base alarm for everything and save done and you can choose from here the mode that's how you will have uh, a DC US button the mode you want if something happens to my home I will get instant notification to my smartphone when I press the emergency button here we've got the emergency button for three seconds I will get an email from Eufy. That is very good. Now let's install it to my wall. I have installed the double tape uh, adhesive. Take this out, find the right position, apply force, not too much, take out the unit, and then you can apply more force to have better results. And put back the unit. And we are ready. So easy. Now for the motion detection. Take out the adhesive double tape, find the right place and install it, and apply force to have a better result. Take your motion sensor, press it, and it will lock. And adjust to find the right position. Now I will install the entry sensor. First we've got the magnet, it will be here, and the main unit here. You can see the magnet is from this side, but you don't have a problem. You can put it in from here, you can see it can recognize and flashing. Now first the magnet, it will go here. Press it very well. Nice. And then the entry sensor. As close you want, you can't. Press it and you're good to go. And open the door. It's flashing. Close the door, it's flashing. Great. And at the low light and in the dark, if I'm going to move, you can see the keypad, it will turn on the backlight. And of course, you can control it from Google Assistant or Alexa. Okay, Google, set security alarm on away mode. Sure, setting to away. Disarm security alarm. Can I have your pin? One, two, zero, 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 zero. All right. Disarming security alarm. Alexa, set security alarm on home mode. Security alarm is on in home mode. Well, I like that. Alexa, set security alarm on away mode. Security alarm is on in away mode. Okay, Google, set security alarm off. Can I have your pin? One, two, zero, 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 zero. All right, setting to off. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I like this future, thumbs up. Well, guys, as you can see, you can control your alarm very easy and from Google Assistant or Alexa. Well, what can I say, guys? <laughs> you have seen what it can do with this uh, security alarm from EUFI. So many adjustments and settings, options that you can do from the EUFI security app. It is amazing, definitely is working very well. I have this alarm about uh, two to three days and it's working perfect. If you need to buy it, you can check down below to the description. You can find uh, more about this alarm. Click the link and you will get more information where you can buy it. EUFI, it has many products. Check and other products. Vacuum cleaner, doorbells, security alarms, battery camera. There are so many products you can check at the link down below and definitely you will find some products that is best for you well for me guys thumbs up if you need the security alarm just buy it it's doing a great job as i said and that was a very long video thank you again for watching i have guided you through all the process how to install and use this security alarm and with all that guys this is the end of the video thank you again for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel like what you like my videos your choice share this video you never know who may need it and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.